שלום, ברק אותו יאללה, בעל שם, יאללה שי, בעל שם וכר קדש, all praises and glories, definitely do, especially in the times we're living in. Matan is in respects to the apostles and others, a great millstone, and to all the brothers out there of the hopeful elect, I say, שלום. All right, this lesson is going to be titled, The Light That Shineth in darkness, all right, and uh, I chose, uh, and that's from, that title is from actually St. John's 1 and 5, and we'll get to that precept, but uh, I chose to start here in uh, Isaiah 5 and 20, woe, which means destruction unto them that call evil, good, and good evil, all right? And that's the kind of place you live in. You live in an anti-Messiah kingdom, all right? The matrix that Esau has created here in America, Babylon the Great, that's exactly what it is, all right? Everything is twisted backwards, all right? That put darkness for light. All right, and that's basically what we're going to be dealing with in this lesson. All right, now I'm only going to give you a few precepts. Um, could, I'm going to make these lessons short. I'm going to do it in about four parts. So this is, of course, part one. I'll come back with three other parts. I want to keep the video short as possible here. All right, um, so that's what we're going to be dealing with in the lesson, though. All right that put darkness for light, okay? And we ourselves, you know, if you have anybody who's out there, any brother that has this truth, this wisdom, this knowledge, this understanding of the scriptures, all right, obviously they're in contact with Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, all right? But they were taken out of the darkness, Okay, and uh, what proves that is what? Uh, First Peter 2, 9 and 10, all right? We were taken out of the darkness and brought into his marvelous light, okay? Where it goes on there to tell you, you know, that we were people. Matter of fact, give me a minute. Let me just take you over there, all right? Let me finish reading this. All right. So put darkness for light, light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. And that's what America means, bitter. All right. All right let me take you over there. Give me a minute. All right. It says here, but ye are a chosen generation. See, a royal priesthood. All right. And that's what we're going to be in the kingdom, which is just around the corner. All right. A kingdom of priests, you know, uh, immortal God, kings, and priests of the earth, all right? Because this is Yahweh Shai's kingdom, your everlasting kingdom. See, in a holy nation, a peculiar people, that you should show forth the praises of him that have called you out of the darkness into his marvelous light. You see that? Now, let's understand something. You were chosen before the foundation of the world, before the world began, when you were first created as a spirit. This is for those of you that are in contact with Yahweh Bachim, Yahweh Shai. You have this truth, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of these scriptures. All right? And you're rightfully dividing the word of truth. You're not out there misleading the flock. Okay? Because like it says, if you love me, feed my flock. And you're not supposed to feed them lies. You're supposed to feed them the truth of the scriptures. All right? You're not supposed to add on to the word. Okay? Because if you're doing that, you're also subtracting from the word. All right? And the Lord's going to deal with you. And how's he going to deal with you? He's going to destroy you. All right? So anyway, let's continue here. 10, verse 10, which in time past were not a people, right? Because the Lord's cast us away. 
right? Because we broke the law, statutes, and commandments, right? But that wasn't going to be forever, people, all right? That's how these people what would like you to believe, you know, these people that are into uh, what is known as supersessionism, all right, replacement theology. They'd like you to believe that, you know, uh, we were cast away. But no, we go read, what is that? Um, Romans, right? We go read Romans, and it tells us that, you know, that, uh, you know, uh, what's his name? Uh, Apostle Paul is from uh, the tribe of Benjamin, okay? And that no, you know, God forbid, he did not cast away his people, all right? All right. Uh, let me uh, finish reading this. Which in time past were not a people, so I explained that, but now are the people of the Most High, which had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. And again, something further. What is that? Uh since we're talking about light and darkness, and that's what the lesson's about. What is that? Six. Second Corinthians. I believe. Second Corinthians six and fourteen. All right. All right. We'll tell you that. Uh, all right. What communion have light with darkness? You would have none. Okay. And what's the reason for that? Well, the simple reason is this, is that you are the children of light. And, you know, we're going to end the lessons out uh, in Matthew 5, 14 through 16. All right. We are the children of light. Okay. So what would you have to do with darkness? And you need to understand what darkness is all about. And we're going to get into that as well. All right. But we'll do that when we come back. We're going to end this here. And... Well, no, we're not, not yet. Uh, well, let's get into it. Let's get into darkness, all right? Um, let me take you to that, all right? This is in the blue letter now. We're in the blue letter. And as you see, walk in here and have light with darkness. Let's go to it. All right, darkness, skotos. All right, this is to give you the definition of darkness. Strong's G, 4655, Scottus. Scottus. All right, see, darkness, night of darkness. See, a darkened eyesight or blindness. That's like the two-thirds of Israelites. All right, they're part of the congregation of the dead. All right. When you read Proverbs 21, 16, he that wandereth out of the way of understanding. You see that? Many people, right? Everybody has eyes. Everybody has ears. But they have eyes, but they don't see. They have ears, but they don't hear. All right? You understand? They can't receive this wisdom, this knowledge, this understanding of the scriptures. All right? Because it's not given on to them. All right? Which proves you have to be in contact with Yahweh, Bashin Yahweh, and you would have had to have been chosen before the foundation of the world when you were a spirit. Okay? And then the Lord, you know, brought you out of the darkness, out of the world, right? And as the world has hated him, so does the world hate you because you're not of the world, just like he is not of the world. You understand? All right. Metaphorically speaking, of ignorance, respecting divine things and human duties, the ignorance of respecting divine things, accompanying ungodliness, immorality, together with their Consequent misery in hell. See that? These are people who are in the dark. All right? And I just finished saying, quoting Proverbs 21 and 16, He that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. Right? 
give me a minute. All right. All right. This is Romans 11, 7, people. What then? Israel have not obtained that which is seeking for, but the election have obtained it. See, there's an elect amongst all of Israel. All right? And that's who the Lord is coming back for. Not all of Israel, just the elect. All right? So Israel have not obtained that which you're seeking for, but the election have obtained it. And what about the rest? All right? Outside of the elect, which are two-thirds. That's pursuant to Zechariah 13 and 8. All right? They were blinded. Let's continue reading. According as it is written, the Most High have given them the spirit of slumber. Again, Proverbs 21, 16. He that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead, spiritually, mentally dead. You understand? All right? So he have given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear until this day. You see that? All right, we'll end this here. We'll be right back, uh, I believe, with uh, part uh, two. All right? Shalom.